What's up guys? Welcome back to the iCloud Go channel. iCloud Activation Lock is a great feature to protect your iPod's security and privacy. But when you forgot the Apple ID or password, things would get tricky. Or worse, you bought it online without knowing it's locked by someone else's account. If you still remember the device passcode, then congratulations, you can simply unlock it with the passcode. But if you forgot all these information, how are you going to proceed? In this video we'll show you an easy but effective way to unlock the iPad without using any credentials. Let's get started. If your iPod is in the disabled mode, watch our another video here to learn how to lock that. So the tool we are going to use is for me key. I'll leave the link in the description below in case you want to download. So once launching it, plug your device in, then click on start and agree to the disclaimer. For me key will download the jailbreak tool first if you haven't done it yet. Now insert an empty USB thumb drive into the computer. Once recognized, hit start to create the jailbreak drive. Once done, you'll see a guide showing you step-by-step step how to complete the jailbreak on Windows. So let's now restart the computer. When it boots up, press F12 key to enter the boot option, and then select the USB storage device to continue. Then we'll see the check green jailbreak wizard. Make sure your phone is still connected at this point. Then you should the device information right here. Go ahead and hit start. The device will be put into recovery mode first as an insurance. Press next to confirm. Once in, press start, then quickly follow the instructions to put your phone into DFU mode before the countdown is over. For iPod Touch, is press and hold the top and home button for 4 seconds, then release the top button but continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds. Once in DFU mode, you'll see the jailbreak code running on your device. Well done. Now let's reboot the computer and open 4Me key to start over. This time you'll get straight to the device information screen. Below it is a start remove button. Go ahead and click on it. 4Me key will do the trick for you in a minute. Just like this. Now let's get back to the iPod and check it out. When we see the data and privacy option, we know the activation lock is no longer ahead our way. Let's move on. Make sure not to sign in your own Apple ID when you got here. Then you can proceed to the home screen. Then in settings, we should notice the Apple account has been signed out. Now you can sync music from iTunes library and start over. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.